or picking up a long distance transmission, a Dr. Fassenbinder on the shortwave who claims to know you? Fassenbinder? Wilhelm Fassenbinder? Why, I haven't laid eyes on that old codger since Yakuts. Patch him through, Sparks. Patching, sir. Willie, you old coot, how's everything? Mr. Zachary, this is Dr. Ilse Fassenbinder, Wilhelm's daughter. Little Ilsa? And you're a scientist now? Say, is this some kind of gag? You must help us. They broke into our lab this morning with guns. We had no choice. They took him away. And all our papers... Take it easy, sister. Slow down. Now, who took who where? The Cheka, Mr. Zachary. They took father away in an auto gear rock. The Cheka? That's tough, kid. Why would Red Russian secret police pinch your dad? What did he do? Nothing. They are volunteering him for their crash military research program in Siberia. Mr. Zachary, you have to stop them. Father won't last one winter up there. He's... he's took. It's all right, Elsa. It's all right. You come to the right man. Now tell me, where are you? We've been working at the Boeing Special Projects Group. Sparks? Yes, sir? We have a change of plans, kid. So the new course for Pacific, uh, would be island. Yes, sir. Uh, sir? Yeah, kid? Was that the Dr. Fassenbender, the one who invented the Flash rocket? The very one. Really? Golly! How do you know him? He used to be chief engineer for the German Imperial Air Service during the Great War. And when he refused to build any more killing machines for the Kaiser, they dropped him into the same prison camp as yours truly to peel potatoes instead. After I started that riot and burnt down the camp slightly, I took the doctor east with me. He helped us rig up planes there, and we gave the Red Russians hell for a while. But now he's in a real fix. Well, what are we gonna do, boss? We're gonna recruit him into the fortune hunters, kid. Ha <laughs> ha, the hard way. Okay, you mugs. Listen up. Today's fun? Snatch my old friend Dr. Fassenbinder right out from under the Red Russians. Yeah! As you know, he's imprisoned aboard the passenger liner Workers' Voyage, which is already airborne. Already airborne? What's the doc gonna do, Chief? Step outside and just happen to fall into one of our planes? <laughs> That's right. You see, these old Russian Zeps have a secondary docking hook here. It's only for emergency landings while the Zep is dead still. So it's too dangerous to hook up there while she's racing on all engines. Trust me, at full speed, the vibration and wind would rip a person right off that ladder. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of this. We'll need to slow down the worker's voyage by taking out half her engines. That should reduce her speed enough so Jack can climb out of my plane and up that ladder. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> we'll shadow the Russian Zeppelin until she's out over international waters and attack her to slow her down. After that, I'll dock at the disabled Zep's secondary hook so Jack can climb aboard. And any Zep who gets in my way is gonna be plenty sorry. <laughs> That's why you're the man for the job, Jack. Now waiting on the docking hook would be suicide, so I'm gonna launch and circle around. Now Jack and I will stay in radio contact so he can tell us when he finds the doctor and hustles him back to the docking area. As soon as I hear from Jack, I'll dock again. Now there won't be room for you and the doctor in the jump seat, Jack, so when the doctor and I launch, you'll parachute away and we'll pick you up later. Yeah, yeah, I can hardly wait. After that, I want everyone to hightail it back to the Pandora. There we'll shoot down any remaining reds and head for the hills. Since Jack's riding with me today, I need Tex and Big John to cover me when I dock. No problem, boss. Yeah, as long as I don't have to ride the silk home like Jack. <laughs>
stations and get those turrets firing. Here they come. Let's break them up, boys. Your luck's been broken by the fortune hunters. Attacking!
Big Shot here. I'm taking too many hits. Over. Come on, boss. What are you waiting for? Drop me off at the Zep so that I can get Dr. Fassenbender. I'm here, boss. On board the Worker's Voyage. I'll let you know when I find the doctor. I'm away. Jack, let us know as soon as you find Dr. Fassenbender. I'll circle back and hook up so he can climb aboard. Sir, this is Sparks. Unidentified Zeppelin has been spotted south of the Worker's Voyage. He's heading your way. Nothing a little paint can't fix, though. That's the last of the Worker's Voyage's turrets, boss. Attention, CCCP Worker's Voyage. This is Black Swan. We have you outgunned. Prepare to beat... Fuckery! What in blazes are you doing here? Hello, doll. That's a meeting you here. Why, you playing something? All aircraft, attack! Big John here. Black Swan just launched her fighters. Headed her way and they don't sound friendly. Over. Stop it. Hold them off, people. We have to wait until Jack has located the doctor. Damn it, Zachary, you'll pay for this! Sorry, dear, but you piqued my curiosity. I just have to know what's aboard that Russian Zeppelin that has you so excitable. Okay, you mugs. Let's down the rest of these Black Swan fighters so we can get a proper look at that Zeppelin unmolested. Boss, this is Jack. I found Fassenbeener and we're heading back to the rendezvous now. Over. Yeah, we'll make it snappy, Jack. An old friend unexpectedly dropped in and she's none too happy to see us. Old friend? Who? Black Swan. Swan? What does she want with an old Russian passenger Zeppelin? Boss, this is Jack. The doctor and I are in position. We're at the landing hook and ready for you to come pick us up. That's the last of the Swan's cronies, Captain. Well, it looks like their Zepp has turned tail and run. The worker's voyage is ours. Careful! You got them all hot and bothered! I'm away! Jack, I'll see you on the ground. Everybody else? Destroy any remaining workers' voyage fighters, then head back to the Pandora. Good work, Fortune Hunters. Now let's head back to the Pandora and let the boarding party handle the workers' voyage. <laughs>